welcome everybody welcome back to homestead heart and today i am outside i have been doing some spring cleaning some spring chores cleaning out the chicken house and i'm telling you in that chicken house is about a foot and a half of chicken poop from the entire year right and that's on both sides in the regular chicken coop and in the nursery and the reason why is that um why is that deep is because we leave it in there to sit like that right spring summer fall winter and we leave it in during the winter because it helps to keep the greenhouse warm yes their poop is really hot underneath and so it helps to keep our chicken house warm not cool warm in the winter but now the temperatures are getting ready to start heating up and so we got to get all of that out of there right and then i'm going to put in start over again with some wheat straw and just put that down over the ground and uh and we'll start this cycle all over again and it will sit like that until this time next year and what we do is once they poop all over that straw we just go right back in and we add more straw on top of that. And we just keep doing that. All throughout the year, we just keep doing that. And so over time, it starts to break down and it makes the most rich compost. However, I don't have anywhere to put all of that this time around. At first, we had these gardens that we were making and we were easily taking it out, putting it exactly where it needed to go. But now, I don't need so much. So. I'm creating a permanent now composting center. Yes, I am. And what I'm going to do first is get the cardboard down here on the ground. I'm having to borrow from Lufa Lane to do this. Yes, I'm having to take about 10 feet or so, 12 feet out of Lufa Lane in order to do this. But that's fine. I got plenty of room for Lufa. <laughs> so you all... I'm going to go ahead and get started again. I've already started putting my cardboard down and I'm putting it down really thick as well because I don't want any grass or anything like that growing up through. So Mr. H brought on some cardboard. And so I'm going to use this cardboard to layer here and make it nice and thick on the ground. So let me go ahead and get started. chicken poop and hay that's breaking down or wheat straw. I just use it as bedding, right? Yeah. This is H. Why are you holding a handful of poop? This stuff rolls some delicious food. <laughs> Alright y'all, so just so y'all can kind of get an idea of how much poop I'm talking about, you see that? That's how far down we're having to dig to get this stuff out of here. Look over here, then look up. All of that is a year's worth of wheat straw and chicken poop. And so we're digging down about a foot and taking it all out of here. And then we're going to cover this ground with more of the wheat straw. So this is how we're getting a year's supply of compost from our chicken house. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just look at that back there. That's their perch so you know it's going to be loaded down there. And as you can see, the foot of this was buried. You can see where it was actually buried at. It was buried underneath poop and straw. So now we're digging it all out of here and we're starting over again for next year's compost. Oh, and the same over here. Look at all of this. Just look. 
Look at how high that's coming up to the edge, and it's beginning to push out the bottom board here. That's how deep and thick that is. So we got to come in here and get all of this out as well. All right, that looks so much better. Almost done. Cleaning it out. Look at how deep down we dug. <laughs> Man, it's looking better. All right. Wow. That is one big pile of... Uh... All right. And this is where all of that... Look at that, y'all. A year's worth. Look at that. That's a year's worth of compost. Just look at it. That's a lot of chicken poop and straw. But again, it's been like this for a full year. So, this is going to sit out here. And it the, uh, the funny thing is, is that when we started digging down to get the rest of the um, poop out, it was loaded with red worms. Dare I show you. I have to step in the poop to show you. Let's see. If I can see them. Oh, they've moved on already. Already? Oh, look, 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 look. Here's some. Look at there. Just worms everywhere. Everywhere. All through this compost. So let me cover them back up. I ain't trying to create no problems. Yeah. Alright y'all, that is going to do it for our one year supply of compost. <laughs> Chicken compost. And we will let this stuff continue to sit out and dry out. Yes we will. And I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to turn it or not. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's a, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to turn it or not, but... What do you want? Oh. Oh, one of their brothers is lost over here. Okay, we're coming for you. Thank you for letting us know. We're going to go get him. Weird guineas. The geek squad. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Now they're quiet. Praise God. <laughs> All right, y'all. So as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted, and I'm going to try to do this quickly before they start again. That's our one-year supply of compost for the garden. One full year came out of that chicken house. Yes, it did. And now we're going to be starting all over again. Um, I've already put down one bale of the uh, wheat straw, but I really need two bales um, for just this side of the, that side where all of them reside. And then in the nursery, I'll put down to begin with the pine shavings. Now, the side that had the pine shavings in it, I don't put that in here. I actually take that and put it back into into their run see I just dump it in the run yeah so I just take it out I got a feather on me I take it out and I just dump it into the run these big old mounds and they have a field day scratching through because as I dig it up, it has all of these bugs in it, right? So they have a field day scratching through that, eating all of those bugs. And that's what I do with the, uh, the pine shavings. I just don't want that in my compost, right? So one side goes in their run. The other side is right here now. Because last time when we had all this compost, we used it all in the garden, right? So... This is another way to start your compost pile, building it up, allowing it to break down over time and um, having it for your garden. So we may have plenty for the fall garden and it'll be good and ready by then, okay? 
So you all, that's gonna do it. Chicken house spring cleaning is done. Our one year supply of compost is sitting behind me. <laughs> that's a lot. Sitting behind me and uh, fresh bedding is down in the chicken coop and we're getting ready now to get it ready for the spring and the summer months. We keep their windows covered in the winter time with a, um, a tarp to keep all that cold air from blowing in on them. But I'm slowly beginning to open these windows up. The front windows have been completely open. These side windows that are facing the south side where all of the sun come in, I think I'm going to leave those tarps up to kind of help keep it cool in there because it does get so hot in there. I mean, it gets so hot. So the, the tarps will act as like a shade, a, a, a shade screen for them. And then the east facing windows, we'll open those up. So they'll get the sun from the back side and the front side, but the south side, we're going to keep it shaded. Yeah. And we'll see if that makes a difference with the temperature. If it does, then we're going to do that indefinitely. If not, then we'll take them down. But I, I'm pretty sure it should help because that's direct sun. So it should help to block out some of that light. But in any case, y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we up. My word. He, 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 right, he was right in front of the door when he was going out. This is goofy one. That's the dodo bird? Yeah, the dodo bird. That dodo bird. He just is, is doofus. Doofus as he want to be. <laughs> he always the one get caught up in something. But y'all, that's it. Thank you for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. That's a lot, man. <laughs>